without any input device a computer would only be a display device and not allow users to interact with it so welcome tech lovers to yet another video and today we are talking about input devices and the keyboard pointing devices graphic and video input devices audio devices so if you would like to know what the audio input device is please keep watching till the end let's get keyboard one of the primary input devices used with a computer is a keyboard the keyboard was the first peripheral device to be used with computers. It helps to input text and numbers into the computer. The keyboard also allows users to input letters and other symbols. It uses an arrangement of buttons, as you can see in the image. It helps us to use buttons or keys and requires pressing or holding several keys simultaneously so that we can execute a given command and keep watching my next video will be about keyboards in detail so keep tuned also have the pointing devices so a device a pointing device is a hardware input device that allows the user to move the mouse pointer to select items on a display screen. So the different types of pointing devices, we have those that are based on rolling a ball. Then we also have touching the screen and moving moving sticks so let's look at them pointing devices based on rolling a ball we have the mouse and the trackball so a mouse is a device that controls the movement of the cursor or pointer on the display screen it helps to point data on the screen it also helps to select highlight and highlight content drag and drop content too the mouse is also important for graphical user interface because users here can easily point to options and objects and click a mouse button so that is how a mouse looks like so there are several types of the mouse, but we shall still look at, look at the mouse in detail in another video. We have the trackball. It is a mouse lying on its back. To move the pointer, you rotate the ball with the thumb or your fingers or palm of your hand it does not require much space to let's also get to the pointing devices based on touching the surface so we have several and let us go straight to a touch pad yes a touch pad is a small touch sensitive pad used as a pointing device on some portable computers by moving a finger or other objects along the pad you can move the pointer on the display screen so the next we also have the graphic tablet is a computer input device that allows one to hand draw images and graphics similar to way similar to the way one draws images on a paper using a pencil 
and then we also have the light pen a light pen is a computer input device in a form of a light sensitive one used in conjunction with the computer's CRT display which is the cathode ray tube display it allows the user to point to displayed objects or draw on the screen in a similar way to the touch screen but with greater positional accuracy then the next we also have the stylus yes it's a small pen shaped instrument that is used to input commands to a computer screen or a mobile phone you can also use it for a tab a graphics tablet so that was it let us go straight to on moving the pointing devices based on moving a stick so that too we have the joystick a joystick allows an individual to move an object in a game this is really good for gamers so if you love games like i do this joystick is just the best option so it helps you to navigate a plane in a flight simulator then we also have the game pad a game pad or the game controller or you can also call it a video game controller is a peripheral device designed to be connected to a computer or a console gaming system still for gamers it has multiple buttons and may have one or two mini joysticks for the pointing devices so we also have the image and video input devices they are used to they are used to digitalize images or videos from the outside world into the computer so examples we have the digital camera a camera stores the picture or the video it takes in electronic format instead of film digital cameras have become the camera solution for most users today as the quality of the picture they take have greatly improved and the price has also been reduced then we also have a webcam it is a hardware camera connected to a computer that allows anyone connected to the internet to view either still pictures or motion videos of the user or of any object so have the optical scanner it is simply a hardware input device that allows a user to take an image or text and convert it into a digital file allowing the computer to read or display the scanned object then we also have the 3d 3d scanner it is a device that analyzes a real world object or the environment to collect data on its shape and possibly its appearance so the collected data can be used to construct digital or 3d models this will be good for guys who take a yes then we also have the fingerprint scanner for those who use the bank or all this you can know what i'm talking about we have a fingerprint scanner which is a hardware device that verifies a person or enters 
password information by scanning their finger then we also have a barcode reader a barcode reader is a device a hardware device that is capable of reading a barcode and printing out the details of the product or logging the product into the database supermarkets and then we have another type of input devices known as the audio input devices the audio div input devices allow a user to send audio signals to a computer for processing recording or carrying out commands and we have examples we have the microphone which is a hardware which is a hardware device that allows computer users to input audio into the computer and then we have an MIDI keyboard which is a type of which is a keyboard which is typically a piano style user interface keyboard device used for sending MD signals to a computer the MD information is sent to a computer to a computer that is capable of reproducing an array of digital sounds that resemble traditional analog musical instruments so this is good for the so thank you very very much everyone for watching and keep tuned but don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell notification icon so that anytime I upload a video you are the first to watch thank you and don't forget to share the content if you find it useful and give it a thumbs up thank you till next time